I asked you to put in some data to SPSS. This was the student height data, so you have heights in one column, gender in the other. So first, let's go and open SPSS. So this is version 25. It takes a while even on this computer. Uh, some computers will be faster, some will be slower. I've got my PDF opened with all the data that I need. So first thing it's doing is opening and showing you the initial screen which has things about help and support, getting started with tutorials. I want to create a new data set. So let's go new data set and open. So now I have a new data set. Actually it has opened one already so I didn't need to click on a new one. I just needed to close that particular. Right. Now, the difference between SPSS and Excel is that you have two views. You have a data view and a variable view. And this is started off showing you the variable view, which is actually useful. If I go to data view for a second, just to show you, across the top, you've got all this thing that says blah, 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 blah. That means it wants a variable name there. And here, the one, two, whatever, those are your lists of actual experimental units, your subjects, your people. So you need to define your columns formally. You don't do this in Excel. In Excel, you just use the first row of your spreadsheet to say this is the title of what's in that particular column. But here, you actually have to say what it is. So in the first one, I'm going to put height. <coughs> it's a numeric value. Uh, and they're saying put eight characters. Eight is a bit too many. Five is more than enough because you've only got two decimal places. Uh, what's the label for it? Well, height in meters. So this is the label that will appear on any charts or graphs that you do. Values, we don't need to specify any kind of special values. This is used when you're using coding, which we'll do in a minute. Missing, there are no missing data points at the minute. Columns, that's just how wide it's going to appear. So it's going to take up eight. It's going to be right aligned. Now, this is the really important thing. You've got to define what kind of data it is. So your choices are scale, ordinal, nominal. So nominal is like colors, doesn't matter and have any particular order. Ordinal means small, medium and large, where you have uh, categorical data, but it has some kind of order to it. And scale is where you've got a numerical quantitative variable. So heights quantitative. Fine. And the next one we have is gender. This type, we're going to put it in this numeric. We're going to use one and two. Uh, width, I don't need any decimal places at all. And uh, the width of it, I just don't need very much at all. So I can put five again. That's fine. So this will be gender. And the values, now I have to specify them. So the value 1 will be male, and 2 will be female. This makes it a lot easier for me to type. I just have to type 1s and 2s instead of typing male, female, male. Fine. Let's ignore the missing values. Now here, <coughs> male and female are nominal. They have no particular order. So this has now set up your data set so that you can put the data into it. Now if I go to data view, instead of having var across the top, I've got height and gender. Now I can just put my data in. Now if I have these two windows open together, I go up to the top, so I get 1.64, 2. Now you notice when I type the number, it shows me actually what the code is. So it shows me the coded value rather than the number. If you go to view here, so what it's doing is showing me the value labels. If I click that off, it'll just show me the numbers. But it's useful in this case just to check that you're getting your value labels correct. So you're not making any type 
Right, perfect at first. Uh, so if you'd forgotten what you carried it is to my own female. Actually, I'm just wondering if I can be exceptionally lazy. <sighs> no, I can't. Dun, dun, dun. I have to type them. If I'd have made that setting column, a character might have been wrong. Then I probably could have cut and paste the data. But then I'd have to go through and code afterwards. But I wanted to demonstrate in this case how to set it up properly from the start. So I'm just going to finish by doing these ones because I don't want to go all the way through everything on this recording, otherwise I'll make it too long. I set a line again, so female. 1.5 should be female. That should be male. Female, that should be female. The 9.96 should be male. Right, so I've put in some data just as a demonstration.